What's going on everybody? As you can tell by the title of the video, what the video is about. Before we jump into that, I do want to give you a short preview of the video that's coming up that I did, London Dragway Open Outlaws for the fourth weekend. <laughs> If you like betting dollars, starting line footage, you know, cars trying to rotate to earth, and track records getting broke every single pass, be sure to watch that video once it gets uploaded. So, with that being said, I want to talk about the title of the video, the, the main topic of the video. And that is Lizzie Mucci's new car for No Prep Kings. 69 Camaro, it's on the screen, beautiful car. Um, nothing but the best obviously um i'm going to go out on a limb and say that due to how aftershock does on the street it will be her street car and this will be her new no prep king's car it will be sporting the same 959 cubic inch nitrous motor that her and kyle has made very popular for pat Musi racing engines and i'm gonna stay on that same limb and say that we're going to downsize the motor in aftershock make it streetable and she will continue to be you know on street outlaws the street version so with season one ending like it did i made a video about it but i still think that there's a lot of things that need to be cleared up and we'll make another video pretty soon about that season two of america's list is a go and so many people are dog and axe man for the way that it played out but per the rules that everybody signed up for he wins he is season one winner or you know whatever you want to call it he is number one right now so it made him look bad yes i agree and made kai kelly big chief and everybody else look like winners but axe man is your number one in america's list it also made him have a big target on his head for the whole world and that's probably why he's not in no prep kings he said that he had been filming for 18 months and just needed a break i don't know he's a contender wherever he goes he's missing out on 40 grand every weekend or every other weekend so i don't know but back to lazy 69 camaro you know tube chassis car we could even call it a pro mod, but it does fit within the rules, and she is a driver that they want to see on the show, so it will be allowed. Um, no way it's going to be any slower than anything, and this car has been tested, proven fast for her, so can't wait to see what happens. So, in the Kai Kelly Racing Arsenal, he's got the Shocker, Aftershock, Showstopper, and the new car. So... I mean, that's four heavy, heavy hitters that Kai Kelly Racing and Team NOLA has. And as you've seen in Fastest in America, he isn't scared to put somebody else behind the wheel of Shocker. He put his tuner, Adam, and I will butcher his last name, so I'm not even going to try it, in the car. He made a lick every time, won every race he was in. So there you go, guys. Lizzie Musi's new car, pretty well the same powertrain as aftershock and 
this is my speculation that Aftershock will be our street car because she was one who wanted to quit on America's List, but as big a name as Lizzie Musi is in drag racing, Street Outlaws is way bigger and is just promoting herself and her brand every week. So her leaving Street Outlaws, America's List, was not a good decision for her team or her or whatever. The better decision was to do exactly what she done. So congrats to Lizzie. Um, I do not think that she is a number 17 or 18 wherever she ended up on America's List. I don't think that's where she and her car deserve um, speculation. I could give them all day long on why she ended up where she did, but it is what it is. As picture still on the screen, beautiful car. Let me know what you think in the comments and look forward to the London, Kentucky open outlaw video that will be coming out shortly. So with that being said, I'm going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Godspeed. See you in the next one.